obviously what else is radioactivity. You want it to be as silent as you can. Check it out with your little 120 buck burger counter. I always wave it over the stuff for sale in the local supermarket because they bring all the cheese in from Europe that's highly radioactive and almost all the vinegar is unless it's locally made. So you're going along the supermarket show <laughs> what was that? <laughs> you get this heavy count as you go past. You go back and, and just tell your clients not to buy cheese or whatever. Do they make it radioactive on the way into the country? How come it's so radioactive? I think it's, uh, I think it's our government's uh, way to control uh, population. I think they inject it with waste from their, uh, their um, atomic power station in Sydney. We won't let them bury it in our backyard, so they, they mix it up with our cheese and send it. Send it out through the supermarkets. Could, could it be the aftermath of Chernobyl? Chernobyl? Not really. Uh, we didn't really get much from that. Most of that went over Belarus. A lot of it landed in Scandinavia and, and, and even in Wales. Yes. And Scotland. Went, went over to North America, which is very useful because uh, they'd, lost, uh, they'd lost a lot of machines and apparatus down one of their deep test sites and it was all... Uh, they had to somehow pump, pump all the air out of the test site to get their machinery out again. So here comes a Chernobyl cloud drifting across the Northern Hemisphere and they waited till it got just about divided exhausted all the radioactive air out of the underground caverns and it you know made a really radioactive cloud drifted over to Oregon and <laughs> and but the bastards got caught because in Oregon they took samples of it and they said this isn't Chernobyl stuff this is <laughs> this is American radioactivity. Yeah and they caught them at it. But, you know, just show how clever people are. You know, if something's happening, they happen at worst. Opportunistic resource? Yeah. Very smart and uh, a good, good financial strategy, you know. Kill a few Oregonians. Um, not that Oregon's going to last that long because what's that place where they, they fill all their atomic bombs and things up the Columbia River. Anyhow, it's got a huge plume of plutonium in the ground now and it's going into the Columbia and it can't stop it. I'm talking to the hydrologist whose job it is to, <laughs> to monitor it and stop it. He says, well, I can monitor it, but I have no way to stop it. I can't think of it. So it's got, it'll be in soon. And when that plutonium goes into the Columbia, you've got to vacate Seattle. Right. So if you know that, and you've got a friend buying in Seattle, say, no, 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 plutonium coming down the creek any minute. Not Seattle, no. Mm -hmm.